coming back with a new video and today we're gonna be animating myself okay today's theme will be black and white so it's gonna have something to do with black and white but not I don't know what I'm gonna color black and white but I'm thinking the most easy thing I can do is my hair so yeah that's probably what we're gonna do right now i'm on the first layer and i'm outlining my features and my face so yeah that's what i'm doing right now <coughs> <coughs> sorry a cough so um if you're wondering what i'm doing now is i'm outlining the line the lines of my eyes and stuff, you know, dealing with that. And you might know, have saw on my ear, I like add a little, a little layer because I didn't like how it was shaped. So it's like this is like the basic before you start, like outline. Some people do it like differently, all that. But this is how I do it. Like I still have a few things I don't know how to do in this part of doing art I don't know how to shade and I don't know how to do a lot of things but I'm gonna learn for you guys so I can give y'all better stuff but it's still gonna come out great Cause I did I already make this video so I already know how it is gonna take. Now some people might do their eyebrows a little different than than others. I don't know. Some people do their eyebrows a little different, but this is how I do mine. I like I throw the little flicks of the hairs in front and then I try to scope the eyebrow and try to make it as identical to the one on the left or the right it depends on how the video is made but to see the one I'm working on be identical to the first one um well I see I couldn't do that so I decided to be a little smarter and I decided to copy the um the layer now if you are doing this make sure when you go to erasing, you still in that same layer, same layer that you created to, you know, make it. Now I did saw this lip idea and I liked it, did. but then it just it just got messed up. And I kept messing with it, so I just said, you know what, never mind. You see how ugly? You see? Yeah, you see. Um, I said never mind, so I just erased it and just got the same look I had. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fool around with this look until I get it right and I'm gonna look at it and see that it's not right and I'm just gonna just fix it back. I don't, I don't know why, but okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna also play some music. Because I don't even feel like talking through this whole thing. But yeah, that's basically what I did for the eyebrows to make them look right and look the same on both sides. Was I just copied and pasted, basically. Copied, flipped around, made it look right. Now, if you guys wondering why I did all that, because I kind of forgot how to zoom in and zoom out. And like every time I zoomed in and zoomed out, it kept going back down. So I had to like do all that to put it back in center. It's probably one way. Next, I'm working on my hair. But like I said, this is just the first outline. I'm just working on outline of um, hair. <clears throat> outline of my body, my features. I do everything on different layers. Like, the coloring is on different layers. That's about what I got so far is, like, put the coloring on different layers. Like, the shading, I don't know how to do that. But, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. 
But then I realized the mistake of mine was I accidentally drew on, I accidentally made some of my outlines of my body on another layer. As you can see right here, I'm on the second layer instead of the first. I, I realized that when I went to coloring, and you'll see how. And this is the eyelashes. Now the eyelashes, they was very irritating. Because one, it couldn't color in. So I had to go by, I had to go menu and cut it in, color it in with um, the marker. Hello. But it still turned out right. Now I kind of wish I did the same like the little copy and paste method on the eyelashes. Because my eyelashes suck so bad. I just, like this, I, look when you zoom out, it looks good. For my first time, not really my first time doing this, but you know, this is what I kind of do. Other people might do it differently. And I know one thing I forgot, as I was looking at other videos on how to draw, like animate your picture, I didn't know I was supposed to like, had a little flit, like a little indent in my eyelashes to make them look more natural. And I was like, that is playing so much so yeah um now you see this i actually did the crisscross method method on like how i do my eyelashes and that's why these eyelashes look so different from these like you see these look straight and these look like they little tangled up and stuff and i was like wow and i didn't like it like that so I wanted to start over, so I started erasing it all off. Cause like it was, I didn't like it. It just I didn't like it. It just made me so. Cause I think if I just kept doing it like this and didn't do the crisscross, it would kind of look identical to the just the gold here. If you try to. You have two set of eyes, two set of eyebrows. You need to make them look identical. Well, I can't really with the eyes because, like, I'm turning, I'm like slightly turning my eyes are slightly looking different directions, so it's not gonna look right. But still, that's what I've learned from other videos. So, yeah. <laughs> part when I start you know filling in my eyebrows you know and what I did I was trying to get an ombre effect like you know how you I don't know <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about like into drawing people you know how you get that shaded effect like it looks it looks blending and all that that's what I try to do you know make it look like it's lighter and it's going into the darkness like <laughs> going into the darkness but you <sighs> it's hard to explain, but yeah, that's what I tried to do. As you can see, like, 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 like. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all I want to say right now. And then I just try to, after I'm done, I try to clean it up a little bit to make it look a little better. And off camera, I already did it. So yeah, 
off the I mean off camera I already already did it so I already did the other brow I keep saying it but I'm not saying what I already did I already did the other brow off camera cause it's taking up too much time so right now I'm working on the hair now and I'm coloring the hair now we're working on coloring the drum I said I was going to do the black and white thing on my hair so one side of my puff gum my point <laughs> One side of my football is going to be white, and the other side is going to be black. So, now, I'm sorry, but right now I am working on my hair. So, what I like to do is I like to outline it because I don't like seeing black lines. That's just me. Other people like seeing their black lines to definitely their picture and let the, so the pictures, uh, so the colors don't. I guess blend to each other and you won't see the, the line but like I like to make the line the outline of the picture a little darker the darker color of the color I'm using so you can still see it um then I color my face I make I um I made that whole separate so I can color it better so I made a separate layer and yeah this is what basically I'm doing so okay then I clean it up, you know, and color everything out. So, yeah. This is when I start, you know, doing that. Start adding light, you know, light gleam into my eyes. And then coloring the base color. Then I go back in with a darker shade of brown to, you know, dang, I can't get it out. But to add that definition of the little ombre effect. Now, at first, I like, like I said, I don't like the black lines, so, you know, I, I make them, make the lines solid as the color. But then, this is what, this is what I do. And I learned that this kind of is the wrong way to do it, so I need to, like, practice on it more. But, yeah, but this is how I clean my eyes up.
This is the finished look, and I hope y'all like it. Bye. Hey, YouTube. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you comment down below and leave a like if you did. And when you comment, make sure you tell me what you want to see from this video so I can give you more. So I can give you more what you like. You see me rocking that two little puff balls. Yes. But also, follow my social media. Link in the description down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video.